Hi babes, how are you? If you're new, how welcome. My name is Michelle and this is another reading for you guys. <laughs> Capricorn, I hope you guys are doing amazing. So with this said, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has to do on that. Everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that roles can be reversed in between energies. And uh, with this said, let's uh, move forward, babes. Okay. So I also want to invite you guys to follow me on Spotify, I'm on TikTok, and as well on um, Spotify, TikTok, and Instagram. All links, description box below. He looks. So, four of swords in the reverse. Seven of swords. King of, so King of swords. Oof, a lot of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Ten of cups in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The chariot. Yep, focus on Cancer. Holy moly. <laughs> the wheel. Five pentacles. The star Aquarius energy. Taurus, Vigo, Capricorn. And the Libra energy at the bottom. Pisces, okay? Okay, dogs. So, I do feel some of you could be feeling overwhelmed. This could be something that happens. This could be related to work or so. But I do see like some of you are feeling overwhelmed. I uh, Okay. Besides that, I got to tell you something, Capricorn. So if you're talking to somebody, if it's a situation that comes and goes, or if you are in a relationship, this person is a liar. They're cheating on you. Unfortunately, I got to tell you this. Allegedly here, there's something they're doing that they're cheating. Keep in mind that cheating, it's not necessarily physical. It could be in any way, shape, or form that you have told this person multiple times not to do so. Cheating could be mentally. Cheating could be like in a photo. Cheating could be talking to somebody. Cheating could be so many things because it depends on what you guys have talked about and to where. Do not do this, okay? Because, you know, every single relationship in person and situationships considers certain things cheating and if you have been very specific with this person and they still do it it is cheating because you consider it cheating okay so keep in mind that cheating it could be in any realm that you consider it cheating not for anybody to be judge and jury because nobody has asked opinions i'm just telling whoever could fit into this okay because everybody's feeling feelings are valid so that's why i always be so straightforward and kind of mean because i don't like bullying and i don't let people get bullied bullied at all so Moving from this, uh, with the King of Swords and the Ten of Cups in the reverse, this person that you have been with or talking with for a bit, they're not happy no more with you and they just don't have the balls to tell you this. But unfortunately, they had had done some things that could be considered cheating. I do feel that you are overwhelmed because you have been doing everything in your power to make this connection, situation, relationship work. If you're single, this could mean that you're going to meet somebody who claims to be single, but they're not. And you may go through all this BS if you don't walk away from them. <sighs> the situation happens very fast. And it's talking about deja vu, meaning that you guys have been in the same situation or a similar situation with somebody else. Or if you have been dating this person for a minute, this is not a behavior that is super surprising because allegedly here it seems like this person lacks of commitment. With the five of coins, I do see despair, heartbreak, disappointment, sadness. Also, if you guys work together, there's like, you know, splitting the properties or whatever you guys had, you know, together. With the star right here, some of you could have kids with this person. Like I said before, if you are in a relationship or you have been in a relationship with this person. With the queen of swords right here. Um... You need to make the final decision because I do feel like this person may not even break up with you. They may not even do nothing. They may even um, deny the situation. They may not even say nothing. And I do feel like whenever you approach this person, when you find out, because you're going to find out text messages and perhaps allegedly emails, um, they're going to make it look like, like you're crazy. They're going to try to make it look like that you're overreacting and it's not. <laughs> it is not. And with the moon in the reverse right here, your intuition has been giving you that for a bit you know when you have the uh, like idea like is he being faithful or is she being faithful when you have that question in the back of your mind is because you know somehow somewhere 
um, this person may be hiding something from you. You know, like this sixth sense that we have as, as you know, spiritual people. And I do feel like even though that this person could be denying, 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 right? Eventually, you're going to find out the truth and everything's going to come out and they won't have any other option but to um, say, yes, you were right. I did this. I did that. I do feel like the situation with the tower and Aries energy happens abruptly. Uh, it's like an, an ending that you did not see coming. It's like abruptly. But this ending <clears throat> is a blessing in disguise. Even though it's not going to feel like that. It may not sound like that right now. But it's a blessing in disguise because it will push you to where you need to be. And perhaps find the person that deserves you. Otherwise, you would have never been uh, able to let go of the situation. With the five of swords and the hermit we got here towards energy the main focus for you when this happens is to be kind to yourself and work on yourself and heal you should not be going back and forth with this person because you know when whenever we break up with somebody or they break up with us for any reason we want to like have this speeches and like throw shade on social media and all these things let me tell you something somebody that goes out of their way to hurt you even though they know what to do to not hurt you even though that if they outgrow love they could come to you and tell you like an adult right when somebody gets out of their way to do exactly what you have told them not to especially when it comes to relationships is because they don't care so if they didn't care to hurt you and your and hurt your feelings in the relationship what makes you think that you dedicating them a whole post and texting them or calling them and insult them is gonna is gonna change anything if they didn't care when they were with you to hurt you, they won't care when you guys are not together. So at this point, the best thing you can do instead of like going back and forth and trying to start something is just focus on yourself, focus on your healing. Uh, maybe just, you know, ground yourself, try to enjoy solitude, trying to enjoy this new shift. And I know it sounds hard, but it is possible. It is possible to do. With the eight of cups and four coins uh you need to be strong enough to be able to walk away from somebody who did not care to lose you uh when somebody gambles with your presence meaning that whenever they know what not to what not to do and they go ahead and do it knowing the possibilities of losing you uh they do not care if you leave or you stay okay and this is something that was hard for me to understand it was hard for me to like you know perhaps like really admit but when somebody knows what to do to not lose you or hurt you and they do get out of their their way to do the opposite it's clearly that is because they don't care they don't cherish your presence or your absence so at this point you forcing somebody to value your cup and to see your value and to see that they're going to lose you they knew all of that when they were betraying you in a way to perform with the seven of cups right here you need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I deserve love. What do I want? You need to love yourself enough to walk away from so horrible situations, you know? Whenever we don't love ourselves enough, we cannot be loved the way we want because we don't know how to love ourselves. And at this point, if you have kids with this person or not, no matter where you guys go, you're always going to be connected. So you guys have to be strong enough and adult about it. But you, with the four of cups, I'm sorry, with the four of pentacles right here, holding on to something that it's only together because you force it or because you hold it together, it's not a relationship. It's literally abducting. With the universe and the reverse, yeah, you did not see this coming. Maybe this is not the reading you wanted to hear. It is the reading you needed to hear. With the eight of wands right here. Even if you don't want to believe it, with the eight of wands, it's going to be movements, it's going to be communication, it's going to be more proof coming to you. Uh, I do see allegedly here that there's third parties that knows about this, that whenever you guys um, make a decision or there's some sort of like whispers or scandals, this uh, these people are going to confirm that, yeah, I saw this person here, I saw this person here. But let me know, this be, let me tell you that there's people around you that already no the situation they're not friend they're not friends of yours it's more like people that you guys have know in common they know about it with the ten of coins in the reverse right here it says that it's not worth uh fighting for this this is not a family this is not a relationship allegedly because a one-sided relationship when not when it's just one person wanting this when it's one person working for this it doesn't work they don't want you to invest and waste your time on somebody who is clearly not wanting to be there
Sheesh. Scorpio energy. Um, some of you are resistant to change or some of you may be resistant to change and resistant to accept the reality because we're the picture cups right here you love this person more than you love yourself at, the, at one point you love this connection more than you love yourself and that's when you let yourself down and that's when things don't work because you cannot love somebody over yourself the only what like the only being that you're supposed to love more is your kids not another human being that you happen to have feelings for you know what i'm saying with the ten of wands in the reverse right here uh there's nothing to carry there's not a burden to carry there's nothing to carry because there's nothing you know what i'm saying you're saying I'm, I'm doing this all for my family there's nothing because this person does not want to be there this person here has been going behind your back because they just don't have the balls to tell you they don't want to be there there's nothing to carry because there's nothing to salvage there's nothing to save there's nothing to fix because allegedly here it's done it's been done for a minute it's done before it starts depends on your situation if you're like dating talking married whatever this is can we clarify the king of cups the king of cups this person was once what you guys were in the past let's say it's not there no more this person outgrew the love this person is not this person you fall in love with and i feel like you know that but you're still holding on to memories with the queen of cups in the reverse right here they do not see you as the queen of cups they don't see you as the person for you they do not see you like that um they do not see you like that with the two of coins and the nine of ones yes allegedly here they look they're hanging out with somebody else behind your back they're talking to somebody else behind your back they're messing with somebody else behind your back allegedly so yes you're not the queen of cups for them no more and with the two of swords this indecision in your energy some of you don't want to believe this it's fine it's fine you don't want to it is fine you don't want to with the three of coins it's a third party situation again confirmation again once in a once look somebody's having an affair or somebody's lying to you they're not either or if you're talking to this person you're not dating them they are not they're not single uh, and if you are in a relationship with them, they're having an affair allegedly. So, in this woman or this person, Libra energy, they claim as nobody, but it's enough to end a relationship or a connection. They see them as an empress. They don't want to hurt you. They, <laughs> they say they don't want to hurt you. That's why they don't tell you anything. They hope you don't find out. They hope you don't find out. They're waiting for the right time to tell you. But they know it's going to hurt you. It's going to sacrifice whatever you had together. Whatever you guys have built together. And everything but it. This person is with this other person. And this person could even have a kid with that person in the future. Or this lady is a single mom. Or, or, or they're a single parent. But like I said before this is what's happening in between uh, this person if you have been having i don't know i hate this kind of readings because every time i you know i do this i know i'm hurting somebody's feelings and i hate that but you know if it, it becomes like that i mean you don't have to believe it it's fine what comes for capricorn and money though a new project that brings a lot of money um it seems like it's not that much work anymore i do feel like hey uh, it's people be like well are you ready for this kind of work or this kind of like you know effort but i do see that you have been working more than this and i do feel like it's a, a better job a better opportunity within a way to perform feels like less responsibility or this could be you seeing it as it's an easier job so i do see like it's a job opportunity for you with a better pay as well that you consider easy with Herman right here and the Queen of Swords, they want you to not display all your emotions in social media, meaning that do not share your emotions with Facebook, do not share your emotions with Twitter. Uh, often you have people who follow you who are just wanting to get to know the tea and that's it. So be more reserved in everything you do try or try to be more uh, reserved in the things you do, okay, babe? And I'm sorry to give you that bad news, okay? So I'm going to just finalize here to give you a postcard from spirit 
Okay, I like to get one, not two. It's a lot. So it says right here, Dearest you, on earth, human learn about life by telling stories and creating new ones based on shared experiences. Eventually, after repeating one often enough, it becomes your main story that you use to define yourself and the world. So to get the answers you seek, you must get vulnerable and hear your story when you tell it. Ask, why do you tell it? Is it really true? What else can be true? Can you see the truth that spirit is in all things? Do you see how other stories overlap and intervene? Spirit loves stories, for they are, for they are like blueprints for co-creation. So tell the one we know to be true about you a story of courage, gratitude, and honesty. Tell an empowered story about well-being, wisdom, and grace. You will experience your world according to the story you tell about it. So make sure there are stories you're proud of. <clears throat> genuine love for genuine love for you so that's my son <laughs> finally guys this is the end of the readings i hope you guys like it please don't forget to like and subscribe please follow me on my other social medias and many blessings